Okay. I just downloaded MetaMask. I have done, uh, I have created wallets. I've deleted like 10 times now. So this is the 11th time I'm doing it. Please make sure that you learn. Okay. When we open the downloaded MetaMask, if you have MetaMask, then be ready to copy paste the address on the dashboard. If you don't have, then watch this. Get started, create a new wallet, agree. Create a password. See, my wallet is being created. I have created my wallet. No, I don't want to take a tour. I am not. Okay, I will also do the security thing because the problem is if you don't uh, get your security, uh, your, your key phrase back up, then it will be a problem. Then your MetaMask will be lost and then you will lose all your NFT miners and then uh, no complaints can be registered and then no one can recover it because it's not something where you can raise a ticket and it will come back. No, it is all on a decentralized blockchain. Nothing can be retrieved if it is gone. So make sure that you are very particular with your address. Okay, I'll save. So this is the key phrase when you risk, when you create a MetaMask wallet. Now we will, I will note it down. Do not take a picture and keep it with you. Write it down on a piece of paper and keep it safe with you so that when, when you lose the password, when you lose your device, your cell phone, you, you can retrieve. I will also give some suggestions. Do one thing, create a wallet, log in in your cell phone, also in your computer and keep it active in both the places so that if you lose your cell phone, which you, which so many people uh, tend to lose easily because it's small. So it will be on your computer. So it will be safe. Also write the key phrase and keep the key phrase very safe with you. Okay, now I will enter. Okay, first was junk. Rotate. Crumble. After. After. Sadness. Sad. Peace. Peace. Design. Design. Settle. Focus, shallow, hello, proof. proof. Oh. Congratulations. Yay. Okay, done. Now that I have created a MetaMask wallet for myself. Okay, don't worry. I'm not going to make any transactions on this. If you have got my key phrase, keep it with you. <laughs> okay. Now you have to go here. Okay, let me annotate. This is your explorer of the MetaMask. You go here and paste the DAP address. This is a test. So we will do the test address, the live address when I will give then you can paste but we need to first set here uh, a very basic thing that we need to know how to generate an address when you can't do for the test you can't do it for the real so i want 1000 people to generate their addresses right now and log into your we are also toshi dashboard and submit the address david if you can show uh, because i don't have 
we are also Satoshi account. I have a test account. So David, if you can, let me first demonstrate how to copy the address and then you show how to create address and paste it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, man. Where is the DAP address? Here it is. Okay. So this DAP address is dropped in the chat. If you go in chat, you will find the DAP address. I'm opening the chat right now so that someone can drop the chat, uh, DAP address and I'll close the chat immediately. Can anyone drop the DAP address? Yep. No, I don't want Solomon. Uh, I don't want the blockchain address. Okay. Amit has dropped the DAP address. Okay. This is it. Perfect. Thank you, Vaseem. Thank you. Okay. This is the DAP address. When you enter the DAP address into your MetaMask Explorer and click on go, you will reach here where my screen is going. And some of the very intelligent people have done uh, wrong address submission. I was, I was seeing, <laughs> I wanted to, uh, you know, show the names of people who have submitted the wrong address. Okay. All right. When you reach here, when you see the DAP, you get an option to connect wallet. This blue one right here, when you click on connect wallet, your MetaMask wallet will be connected to the DAP. I will demonstrate how. We will do it again. Don't worry. If you are slow, David will do it again. Click on MetaMask. You will be asked to connect. Now your account, your, your account, your MetaMask wallet is connected to the DAP. Now that we are connected to the DAP, we need to change the network because we are not operating on Ethereum address, Ethereum network. We have our own blockchain. We don't need to use Ethereum chain to, uh, to do our transactions. So when we click on this Ethereum logo right here, we will get two options. We will get Bitcoin code to switch our network into. When we switch the network into Bitcoin code and click on confirm, then this option will be there to add the blockchain. Trust me, ask, ask people if they have ever added a new blockchain. They have not seen this simple option. I made this very simple, just like uh, you know, every kid can do it. So this is not how easily the new network is added when the network is not registered or when it is new. So the process is very simple. It is to ensure that everyone does that. When you click on approve, your new network is added. And now I can switch to Bitcoin code. Whenever I will, when I, I will click to switch, I will get this message, which I'm not getting. Okay. I'll go, go to my MetaMask again. I hope it will show me. See, this message will appear that you have switched to Bitcoin code. When you see this message, right? Your DAP will show this. Let it load. In eight more minutes, we will finish this basic training. And I want everyone to, after this Zoom, 
1000 people go to your downlines ask them to create the address give them training go on calls tonight i want all 15000 miners more than 15000 miners to submit their addresses because this is for real see if you lose or if you get your nft minted uh, somewhere else or if you don't get minted then it will be uh, it will not be good we have worked so hard for this so this is what you see then you go to your wallet you see btcc you see bitcoin code on the top and then this address is your btcc address this is the test address okay we are doing this for the testing once you copy it and then you take it on we are all satoshi dashboard and paste it you will be done and then we will do the same with the live net with the main blockchain okay let's say you have 10 different we are all satoshi accounts okay let's say you have five accounts 10 accounts and all the accounts you have brought the miners you have to generate just one address and use the same address to copy paste on we are all satoshi let's say you have 100 accounts on we are all satoshi from 100 accounts you have brought miners so you will go copy paste 100 addresses okay one address into 100 accounts no problem all the miners will be minted on your metamask okay